created by the Earth Alliance, stolen by Zaft, with unmatched firepower. This is the Buster Gundam. Hey everybody, welcome back to another review. Today I'm looking at a model kit that's received almost unanimous praise from the internet over the last couple of months. This is the Master Grade Buster Gundam. People say this is an absolute brick of a kit and one of their favorites of all time. Now can the same be true for me? Let's find out. Ready? see this color is sort of an off-white, and I wanted to paint it something similar to that, but finding that sort of color was difficult. It was also apparent right from the get-go, these parts have some really good detail in the mold. Panel lining will bring out this kit's full potential. It's prime time, bitch. I'm using a different brand this time. We'll see if it gets results. I love this color of green. It goes on perfect every time. This is the perfect color for those military type suits. This dull red returns from my last video, using it to hit some highlights on this kit. I think it looks really good with this green. I'm using gunmetal for the guns. This Gundam has guns. I know this color is going to be too dark. I think I'm okay with it. This light sand actually worked out. And then I'm just going over the inner frame with some gunship gray. So I'd say this thing took me about four hours to build all together. Of course I spent more time after that with all the decals and panel lining too. But you can tell that despite how easy this was to build, it's got some great color separation going on here. The gunmetal looks so good. The head's got these sort of armored cheek pads on them. It's a little different. I'm loving this khaki color too, man. It's so nice. The arms are a bit run-of-the-mill until you put the armor on. That's when they get some considerable bulk to them. I'd expect nothing less from a Gundam like this. I will say, the legs have a bit more bulk to them, inside and out, than your typical Master Grade. While most kits stand upright with no problem, they have a hard time hitting poses while holding heavy weapons. These legs were made to stand their ground. Despite all the sand color, the panel lining in red provides some nice breaks in between. Put everything together, and it looks pretty awesome. Let's move on to weapons. This kit has two large guns that appear similar but have different functions. The high energy rifle is a focused mid-range weapon. The gun launcher is a powerful close range shotgun. Notice that the barrels can move in and out. There's also two handles for each gun. There's also these arms that connect the guns to the hips. Here's the whole loadout, and yep, you got the gun launcher, the high energy rifle, your typical hand options, no beam savers here. So there's the Buster Gundam in action, and you kinda gotta get those arms up there to get the guns out blazing. The dry transfers really help to add some awesome details here, but the stickers were a different story. You can tell there's a whole sticker here, but you can't make out any detail on it. Obviously, they weren't supposed to go on a surface this dark. As seen on TV, the Buster Gundam combines its weapons to augment their power. Depending on the combination, different results are possible. The gun launcher becomes the anti-armor shotgun with higher impact and wider spread. The energy rifle becomes, oh my god, the Hyper Impulse Long Range Sniper Rifle capable of piercing through large and armored units. So these arms connect the guns to the waist, yeah. Well, here's the thing. They broke. Almost immediately. These damn ball joints, man. So I took to the internet to look for replacement parts, because I am not buying another whole-ass kit for this. Alright, let's see. H4, H3. Um, son of a bitch. These guys know. Five stars? Doesn't have the best fit, but it gets the job done. 
Alright, cool. I'm convinced. For the time being, I'll deal with it. It's time for my final verdict. This kit was a quick and painless build, and it maintains that brick status. The color scheme is great. Yeah, good job, it Ryan. stands out without being obnoxious, and you can get this thing for like 45 bucks. However, when parts break that are integral to the kit, that really blows. Also, I do think the dry transfers were really nice, but the stickers, not so much. I wish there were more weapons, but that's not really a valid complaint here. This thing is a great big, I'm talking you can't even fit it on the screen, eight. Buy this kit. Thanks for watching this review. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. While I do have a couple of bones to pick with this kit, it is still a really nice final result. I just feel like you get what you pay for and nothing more than that. If you guys enjoyed this video, check these ones out. Also leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. As always, have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys on the next one. Ryan, out. Next time 